what you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can back up uh, using file history to a NAS drive now it doesn't matter what model or make of NAS drive you're using uh, we're going to be backing up using file history to that network attached storage device which is a NAS drive okay so let's go ahead and set this up. I will show you how to use a system backup to a NAS driver as well. And backing up is so important nowadays. A lot of people still don't back up data and you should be backing up data and your computer to a, a, a storage device or to an external drive or another drive. You should be doing that on a regular basis because when you get hit with ransomware or your hard drive starts to fail and you haven't got it set up, uh, you're going to lose data and it will cost you a lot of money to recover that data if it's possible at all so let's go ahead and set this up so first off what we're going to do is come down to the search options here and uh, we're going to type in here backup and you can see we've got backup settings click on this one this will open up the uh, backup options here and you can see here backup using file history what we want to do is come down to where it says more options click on this one and now we want to go to where it says see advanced uh, settings so click on this one here this will open up this uh, pane here which is uh, file history and you can see it's grayed out at the moment and that's because we haven't got it set up and it's not turned on but don't worry about it I'll show you how to set this up so you can see here select a network location so that's what we're going to do I'm going to go inside here and uh, you can see here show all network locations so click on this and you should start to see stuff populate inside here and these are your network attached storage devices here now you can see one is public and one is uh, admin the admin one's going to be the private one which is for your home network if you started putting everything on here it's going to be for the public uh, so we're going to keep this uh, separate you can choose your own location and i'll show you how to do that right now so obviously you don't want to put it into one big folder called admin you want to select it as its own folder i.e backup or whatever you want to call it so let's go ahead and add a new network location so i've now selected a new network location here and you can see i've called it win 10 space backup you can call yours whatever you like you can put the date in there you can uh, do pretty much anything you like here so we're going to be using this one here and what we're going to do is click OK now you can see copy files to and it says this location here and it's at this stage we need to turn on our uh, file history so turn on file history and this will then start the uh, process of backing up so now you can see uh, file history is saving copies of your files uh, for the first time and that will start to work away and it may take a bit of time for it to do so and it will start copying uh, data across to this location here so let's take a look at uh, the location here so i'm just going to quickly drop this down and we can go back here and let this populate here now inside here if we look at the more options here uh, we can now see that it's now changed we can see total space and it's selected this location and uh, you can see it's uh, backing up your data and you can hit the backup now this is where you can set up your backup uh, my files every hour you can see you can select this to whatever you want every 10 minutes every 30 minutes daily or whatever you want to do here uh, keep my backups and this is forever or you can choose for one year two years nine months until space is needed and it and uh, you can set this up to whatever you like here you can add in more backup uh, backup folders inside this location by clicking on add a folder and anything that you want to remove you can remove it from here and you can see it's going to start to back up a lot of stuff uh, inside here now any stuff that you don't want say for instance you don't want to back up uh, say your movies folder or you don't want to back up your tv shows or anything like that you can remove those from the list and it will stop copying that stuff across so if you just want your bare essentials going across you can do so uh, by doing that you can just remove whatever you like here 
and it will stop uh, backing all that stuff up okay and uh, we can remove a lot of this stuff because I don't want to send a lot of this stuff across so you save games I'm not too bothered about that uh, your videos favorites contacts desktop I don't need to worry about this so I'm just going to remove that and you can go ahead and set yours up to how you like it okay so I'm just going to remove that as well and there we go so depending on how you want to set this up you can set it up and once you've got this all set up this will uh, do the backups on a regular basis to what you set it up to you can add other file uh, folders inside here as well and it's a great way uh, to do that now you can also exclude uh, folders as well by clicking on the exclude part here and you can also back up uh, using a different drive by stop using this drive and it will stop the process altogether okay and if we look in the location you'll see it will start to back up to that location so let me get that location open here so you can see it so here we go it's now starting to back up already and it's starting to go into this location here as you can see if you go in here you can see data and it will give you some information about uh, what it's backing up so i've stopped some of this already so it will stop uh, backing up data for those locations but it will start copying that stuff across okay now obviously if you do want to stop this at any time you can do like i've said you can just uh, stop the using this drive and it will say sorry this doesn't work error code so i'm getting an error code there so let me just uh, come out of this and reopen it again so I'm just going to go into backup settings here now to cancel your backup just automatically back up my files turn this off and then go into more options once you're inside here uh, you'll see we still got it set up you need to turn off uh, the file history from here first so once that's turned off you'll be able to stop the uh, backup process so go back into here now stop using this drive and there you go so you'll get an error if you try to uh, stop it before you've turned off file history but you can see here now if we go back into settings uh, by typing backup open this up you will see that all the information is now removed and you would have to go through and set this up as if you were starting from scratch again so everything has been stopped okay and that's pretty much it this video has been brought to you by zero and nine use the discount code to get your cheap copy of windows 10 pro you can use the promotion code brian w for windows 10 professional oem key and get a discount and get that for 12 dollars 79 if you're interested in microsoft office 2016 professional plus retail key you can use the promotion code brian-m and you can get a reduced uh, price on that as well by using that coupon code links in the video description so that's how you start a backup using file history to an as drive and that's how you can uh, disable it and turn it back off so i hope this one's been helpful to you my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support have a great day and i shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos